Sup guys, Waffle King here, and today I'm going to be telling you guys how you can make an intro just like mine. Uh, the intro that was suggested, um, the guy who suggested it will be on the screen just now. Sorry, I cannot remember your name. Um, but yeah, I will be telling you guys how to do it. So first, you need Photoshop. Um, well, you don't need Photoshop, you can use... Uh, it doesn't really matter, actually. You can just you can use GIMP if you have GIMP. Um, as long as you got um, uh, 1280 by 720, and just create a simple text thing, I guess. Give it stroke, and that's about it. Um, and next, so you basically you just save that, and you want to go into After Effects. And, whoops, what you want to do is you want to click create a new composition. Now, it will come up with this, composition settings. You want to do frame rate 30, width 1280 by 720. That is YouTube's uh, YouTube dimensions. You want to start time code 0, duration 15 seconds. However long you want it to be, really doesn't matter. I'll click OK. Next, you want to do import file. And uh, search up whatever you called um, the text or whatever you're using for this, for this intro. Um, boom. Then you want to just drag it in. And now you have this. Okay, you, when you first start out, you will not have this. How you can access it is in the bottom left-hand side of the screen. You want to just click expand or collapse the layer switches pane. Boom. Now you will get this, and you may be thinking, what is this? It basically allows you to do 3D layer, adjustment layers, and motion blur. We'll be using motion blur and 3D layer. 3D layer is the most important. You don't have to use motion uh, layer, but if you do, that's fine. Now, what you want to do is you want to go about that much in, so that that's when the intro will be coming in. You want to cut it. Then you want to go in position, and you want to go to the final one, and you want to just, let me just line this up, okay. And you want to just go really, really far back to about, let's say, 20,000. Okay, so now it's really far away, and you want to go, let me just get it so until it's back on the screen, so. Okay, it's on the screen, and you will click that, it's the timer, it'll mean that if um, you click somewhere else, a different position, it will uh, move slowly or fast, however, or whatever you're doing. So then you will click zero, and now it will come back to where it normally was. However, this is going to zoom up really fast. That actually wasn't that bad. Um, and I just farted, and it stinks, man. That is actually okay. And then, you now, so, basically, you want to just click next frame boom just once and then you want to go like let's say how much do we want probably about that much and you want to move this like quite far away so that's actually going really really fast so we're going to move that out and that actually looks pretty good so so far it's just zooming in boom and then you have the dubstep uh, drop right there. Okay. Now you want to. Well, I mean, that's that's not good enough, guys. That is just a simple piece of 2D text just coming into the screen. We want to make it a little bit more interesting. We want to get that intro going. So you want to find out wherever your intros uh, are. Mine are just shockwaves. It's just. I'll basically I'll put all the links for these in the description and you guys can download shockwaves and all this glass stuff and particles. But the main thing you will need is particles. We're gonna go with the number two. No, I don't want to pin it. Boom. And you wanna put that back up. And particles. Put it there. So now it's looking a little bit better. A little bit better. Boom. Powerful. Quite powerful. Okay, let's go grab some more stuff. So let's grab a glass smash. Whoops. Optical flare as well. Um, I don't usually use that, but we can. 
Um, I probably should use it actually. So get it all lined up. That seems pretty good. And you want to click blending mode and screen. This will get rid of all the black so that it's just the glass. So you want to do it, line it up so that when the intro hits the screen. So just slowly using the next frame and then boom, right there. You want the glass to just smash out like that. So boom. Okay. So that looks okay. looks a little bit cheesy, a little bit, you know, not the best. Uh, so to make that a little bit better, we want to go back over. And now, well, we can grab the optical flare. Um, we just add that in. And this basically just looks pretty beast I think I'm not sure what that will do that will yeah it it makes it I don't know let's just align it so that it looks better so now but we want we don't want it we want it to start when the glass hits so boom now, I'm not sure if that's quite aligned So let's just move this over to there. And now it is, let's just do that so that we're getting exactly like a little bit closer to what's happening. So now, boom. And now it may look a little bit like craziness is happening when that happens, but it, 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 it'll, it'll work out. I swear, I swear guys, it will work. Um, so boom. Now, now it's looking a lot better with the optical flare. Um, and let's go grab the shockwaves. Now these are the main kind of, I guess the main part of this. And you want to just chuck it in there, put it there. Now you once again want to go blending mode, screen. And let's have a look. And now it's looking quite powerful. Very powerful. So it's like as in, it's just very powerful. It makes it look a lot better than what it was. So you want to go over to about there, and you want to grab another shockwave, let's just go with this one, for example, and chuck that in there as well. Once again, you want to go blending mode screen, move it over to here, the selected area where you will be using it, and now you have two. So that is that, guys. That is basically how to make my um, old Waffle King intro uh, with the W. It's very easy. Uh, as long as you got the stuff, it's not hard at all, and it looks quite looks quite powerful. Uh, but if you do want to make it look a little bit um, more sexy, I guess you want to go into Cinema 4D. You want to get Motex, and you want to just write in whatever you want, align it with the screen, and write whatever you want. So let's say a Waffle King, or just a W, and it will just it will look 3D, uh, and it will look a tiny little bit better. Um, and that's about that. But, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. See you guys. Bye.